Today is July 29th, and this is your One Minute News. Lockdown-free Sweden is seeing a very positive downward trend in cases. The House of Representatives will be holding a hearing with Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook today. Six players on the Patriots have now decided to opt out of the season due to COVID. Trump defends anti-malaria drug after Twitter deleted his retweet video. Virgin Galactic unveils the incredible interior on the Spaceship 2 space liner. A woman was killed by a shark in Maine. She was playing with her daughter before the shark decided to attack her. Two kayakers came in to help her get away. The Bill Barr hearing was full of, and I reclaim my time. Portland officials announced Tuesday the city is fining the federal government $500 every 15 minutes for erecting an unauthorized fence. Samuel Young was arrested in the Denver suburb. Police say that he was aiming at the Jeep that drove into a crowd of protesters on a highway in Aurora on Saturday when he accidentally shot two demonstrators. Over a hundred police agencies pull out of the agreements to guard the DNC convention. The United States will withdraw nearly 12,000 troops from Germany. And today in history, in 1958, NASA is created. And that is your One Minute News. Thank you guys for listening to the One Minute News. If you don't mind sharing this news with anyone and everyone you know on any social media platform, it'll truly help me grow. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday. And uh, please get your questions into me for the Friday bonus edition episode. I got a couple in. I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, I want I want you guys to engage with me in, in these videos, and I appreciate those that feel comfortable enough to do that. Uh, I also have an interview coming on Monday that I'm excited about. And if you want to be interviewed please hit me up. Uh, I would love to interview you and, uh, and just hear your thoughts on the political climate, what's going on in the candidacy, and all that kind of stuff like that. And as of right now, I only have conservatives responding to me. So if you're, if you're a liberal and you want to get on the show, please hit me up. I would love to have you on. I don't discriminate with political beliefs, and I'm open to all to have a discussion. It's unbelievable how that can happen in today's world. But I am trying to build that platform to allow people of all political beliefs to be able to come on and voice their opinions because with an unbiased news, that creates different opinions. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow morning for another edition of the One Minute News.